all right what's up youtube uh hopefully we've got audio yeah we do right so this video is about cgc right now cgc is far the worst company to grade your cards with right and you're gonna say well okay prove it right that's what everyone's gonna say prove it all right all right i am gonna that's the thing right so i have an example of a seven yeah, which is the Charizard, which is this, yeah, this is the 7, right, we have the Hitmonchan, which is 7.5, okay, and we have the Clefairy, now when you look at this card on the front, you know this is a mint card, right, this is like box fresh, yeah, so 8, 8, mint 8, right, and a Cloyster, which is a 7, right, so, you know we have two examples of a 7, we have a 7.5 and an 8, and then we're just going to throw in a Vaporeon 9, yeah? Okay, so CGC, as we know, do not give out 10s. Their grading is the worst grading you'll ever see in your life, right? So here is example 1 of a 7. This is a hollow. This has got hollow scratches, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to show you the whitening, right, on the back of these cards. So... You've got whitening here, you've got whitening here, whitening there, whitening there, whitening on this corner, right, whitening on this corner, and maybe, maybe like a little bit here, like a little bit, it's very small, right. So, more likely, let's just have a look at the surface of the card, you know, there might be a, a bit of fingerprint, so you, we got a scratching of the hollow, right. Which is normally the case on these e-readers. And you do get like scratching here. And it might be like, you know, a bit of whatever there. Scratch maybe something here. Right, so this is the card. So this is a 7. Right. Okay, so you want to see the 8. Right. So this is an 8. Right. So this is an 8. you got one tiny white spot. One corner whitening. Right. Would you agree that that is an 8? I want to say no, right? This is not an 8. This is a 9, right? Because that is not really... Uh, that is super, super low, right? And that is is your main one point. That's your one point to write there, yeah? I'd say one point for that, nothing for that. So, 8, right? So, okay. So, you've seen the 7. You've seen the 7... And you've seen the 8. Okay, you read it. Right. Now let's look at a 7.5 Hitmonchan. As you can tell, we've got scratch in the hollow. Scratch in the hollow. Right. Card's nicely centred. Right. Now, we got whitening here. Whitening here. Whitening here. Whitening here. Right. Now, if you look at the bottom, we got whitening all the way along this card right this this card has got terrible whitening on it you can see with the edge right you know see this corner right so so really you've got look at the amount of whitening on this you got whitening at the top whitening there whitening there the whitening all the way down this edge whitening here white along this corner white along this corner damage damage and also a corner cut there, right? So that's that's your major one there. That's like, that's a two-pointer right there, yeah? I'd say that's a two-pointer right there, right? So 7.5. All right, all right. Let's compare this 7.5 to the 7, yeah? Okay. So this is the 7, back of the 7. And this is the back of the 7.5, right? So... Now you tell me which card is worse. Right, now if you didn't see both of these cards, what I just showed you, would you be able to tell from this picture, right, which is the worst card? The worst card is the one on the right. But the one on the right has a higher grade than the one on the left. So it's like, huh? What? Like, how, how can you grade this lower than this card when this has a higher grade? Right, okay. So you've seen the 7. You've seen the 7.5. Right. 
Now let's bring up the flash fire Charizard. Right? So. Now. Whitening here. Whitening here. Whitening here. Whitening here. Whitening here. Whitening there. Right? And there's also one of these. Oh, maybe it's the other one. It's the six with the dinting. Right? So, bum bum. Right? All white in corner. Yeah. All white on the corner. All white on the corner. Right? Surface. Right? Obviously, the case is... Uh, and you know what? You know the, the one thing that... If, if they downgrade your cards for some visible fingerprint on the card from for handling it, that is the most stupidest thing ever. Because these guys have a case that shows up the biggest amount of fingerprints on it. You, you touch it and it's got fingerprints all over it. You see? So how are they going to tell you that these, these uh, you know, these cards right, have maybe got moisture residue from your hand and their case picks up every fingerprint you touch on, right? So you can tell that this 7 is in pretty worse condition compared... Okay, let's just say again, right? You see these two cards back to back. Which one's worse? Which one's worse? Both the same grade, but this one... Has a worse back. It's got two bad corners, look, at the top. The first, two, the first two corners at the back of the card, look. You can see how white those corners are, right? And then you've got a corner at the bottom. So you've got two super white corners. And then again, this card is a worse contender. And this is a seven. And this is a seven. Right. So, right. Now let's see a nine. Right, so a nine. Right, they pour it on. Do you see any spots of whitening on the back of this supposedly nine? No, yeah, no whitening. Right, you agree that the centering's like bang on, right? Centering's bang on, yeah. There is no surface damage to this card. Right? At all. Yeah? Zero surface damage. Now, to be fair, I don't even think edges should be even classed as, in, as anything in the grading process. Because, one, it's in a case, and you can't even see the edge when it's in the case. Yeah? I mean, if it's a really visible dent, maybe. But if it's a little bit of whitening or whatever on within the edge, and you can't see it, so it's not really like going to be super demock in the grade so the edges only should be like a point you know 0.5 or a 0.25 you know so a nine all right this is a 10 if i sent this to psa this would be a psa 10 that's going to get me 50 60 quid you know in a cgc now i was going to get a 10 20 pounds is that it it's gonna it, i would probably sell it for less than i graded it for you know incurring another loss on the box that i got it from yeah so you get what I'm saying, right? So this is a nine. Well, this is an eight. Now this card is a nine. One white nick, no problems, no hollow scratching. Yeah, perfect card, right? Other than perfect card. So you got this card, and this card. And this is a nine. And this is a ten. This is, you could say, a six point five. And this is a seven. Now this is a 5. Yeah? A 5. If PSA graded this, it'd be a 5 or a 6. 100%. 7.5. You guys are smoking crack. Legit. Yeah? And uh, just a question, right? Is there anyone on my uh, YouTube that has actually ever received a CGC 10? Have you actually received a CGC 10 from your grading? Right? The reason why I'm asking is because I reckon they only use their 10s on their page to promote their service. Yeah? That's what I reckon they do it for. They only do it to promote their grading service because it seems like they're all losing business right now. Because here is another example. Right? As well as a, 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 a minute dot. Minute dot. Minute. Yeah? Okay. Mint card. Right? 
No damage to the surface. Right, okay. So, okay. This card's a nine, right? Now, if this card's a nine, then why does this card look better than a 9.5 that I have? Right? Why does this card look better than a 9.5? Now, let me tell you something. Why isn't this card a 9.5? Yeah? Why is this card not a 10? If I sent this to PSA, it'd be a 10. Yeah? They're more than likely going to grade it a 10. And then I could probably sell this for £40, pound, probably. 40 quid. For CGC, I'll probably get 20 for it. Yeah? It's just, this company is absolutely goddamn awful with grading. Awful. Absolutely awful. You know, they, they are literally, if you have any card as a 9, don't send it to them. You have any card that's going to be a 10, don't send it to them. Send your troll stuff like this. Yeah, send your troll stuff. Or better still, don't even bother using them. Yeah, because then they'll realise, oh, maybe we've been too strict. No one's actually sending us any cards. We're, now we're losing business. Now we're not even a competitor because our cases have no value. You know, like I say, only graded, yeah, stepped up to a challenge and graded the Blastoise e-reader card. The PSA and CGC will not touch. Yeah, so... Why were these companies? Here's another question to, to ask them, yeah? Why support a company or a place of business that is refusing to grade specific items? Yeah? Why? Why even bother sending them anything? Because you can clearly tell that this card was brand new from a box. This was brand new from a box and it comes out an eight, yeah? But this was in a 20-year-old collection and comes back a 7.5. Just look just look at the state of it. Right, you call this correctly grading? It's absolutely phenomenal. Honestly, it really is one big joke. Right? This company, stop using them. Thanks for watching the video. Peace.